Welcome back, folks. We see Dogecoin blowing up again, getting back up to those all-time highs. That's right. We are at a point where no matter when you bought it, over the last 12 months, everybody made money. If we hit that new all-time high, it is crazy to think about, but there is not one single person who bought Dogecoin that didn't make money over the last year. I love seeing it get to this point, family. Now, if you haven't done it, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button down below. I don't know what you're waiting for. And of course, hit the bell for notifications, hit all. We're gonna try to make even more money moving forward. Huge news, this is the last day to take advantage of code BREAD, B-R-E-A-D, down below for the course. That is over after the day. And so get over there, lifetime access to the course and the course discord, code bread final today, get in there, do it. And uh, of course, uh, I always takes me back to, what was that? Just do it. I always remember that. I forget who used to do that, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, Shia, Sh Shia, is that it? I think that's what it was. Uh, but anyways, yeah, interesting stuff. And of course the small account challenge, that is starting tomorrow and if you haven't done it get over there sign up for weeble put 500 in you'll get some free stocks but the big one i'm doing is moomoo if you put in a hundred dollars today's the last day for this promotion do it take advantage of it use my link below you get five free stocks worth up to two thousand a piece put a thousand in you get 15 plus the 8.1 all of this ends today so do it today take advantage of it you'll have a new promotion tomorrow this is over after today and in canada we have you covered too there you go you guys just get a little different promotion same link down below so i'm excited about all of this but more exciting what's going on with dogecoin mom what's going on with dogecoin what's going on with she shiba inu where are we going with ethereum the altcoins pay pay floki all of them seem to be having a good day well let's dig into it we'll find out i think i'll start with the the charting and then I'll, or not the charting, I'll, I'll start with the, the actual weekly gains, the daily gains, everything else, show you what's going on, who, who's popping, who's not, and we'll go from there. Now, I, I like showing the update of the overall market cap, because I think we'll get back over $3 trillion within the next few days, uh, but we'll see. I, I'd say before April's over, we should be well above $3 trillion. I could be wrong. Uh, we could pop above 3 and bring it back down. We don't know. But we're at 2.82, up 1.52. Bitcoin broke back above 70,000. Last video I did, made, we were back in the 60s. We are back over 70. It is good to see the changes happening. It are coming quick, especially on the, on the Easter holiday here. Happy Easter to everyone. Uh, we're seeing money being made. I thought it would just kind of be a sideways market. Not the case. Ethereum, and we go back over Bitcoin, what we say, 1.52. Ethereum at 3.94% just crushing it. I already said it before. Uh, it should be able to outperform Bitcoin moving forward. That's the goal. That's what I'm thinking. We'll see if that actually holds up or not. But you can see 3640 right now. I think we're going to head back up to new highs. Uh, you can see what's been happening. This has been trending up. Uh, the number I'm watching right here, and we're going to get into it, is 3664. That is the top where we pushed back down multiple times. I'm going to show you the graph on this. And if you look at the technicals, there are some warning signs. And once we break that, I think we head back up over 4,100. Uh, it's just a question of when we're going to break it, not if. And boom, Dogecoin, my man, doing what it does best, running to the moon. Like I said, I want to show you this. Over the last year, we are almost to a point, and you can see 22 cents. We're at 22 cents that no matter where you bought it in here, even at the highs here, you're up money. The only time, and like I said, it's right here is 22, but we are at 22. Everybody is making money. Everybody's making money with Dogecoin. I love it when we get to that point. Let's take a look at some of the other ones. Shiba Inu up 2.3, one doing well over the last year, down a little bit off some of the highs. Uh, and I like this one. I think the setup for that one's looking good. And Bonk, of course, I know there's some Bonk family out there. We'll take a look at Bonk. 23% up this week, nice run. I think it has more to go. And as we go and look at Floki, 2.61. So nothing out of the ordinary. The only thing I would say is PayPay is running like a champ. 7.81, that's having a good day, 19% this week. If we go to the weekly gains though, Floki, 8%, PayPay up 19. Uh, Bonk winning with 23. And this week for Shiba Inu, 10%. This week for Doge, 26.51. Doge is the clear winner. 
So the Doge community, and I was, I've been a part of the Doge community since day one, uh, mining it back in the day, man. Love Doge. I think it's still the, the winner. I think we're still going to have a run on this thing. Ethereum doing its thing over the last week, 7.63. And Bitcoin, 7.71. So they're pretty much even. No complaints there. Now let's dig into the charting because I want to show you where we're at, what, what to look for. And of course, I told you as we went forward here, wait for the retestment, retesting off the 50, which we got, and we should run up to new highs. I had this set. We broke it. I said, once we break this, give it three to four days of consolidation, maybe five or six, and we'll have new highs. Well, we had one, two, three days. Sometimes it's as little as three, and it looks like today we're getting that. Sometimes it's as much as six, but between those three and six days, that is when we will get up here, hit new highs. And so it might happen today, maybe not. We are right there close. You can see we have a, we're right where we were before, that 22 cents. I love seeing that. The goal is to get up to 23 cents and have new highs. That way, every single person who bought Dogecoin is up money, which that means the demand is higher than, the, than, the, uh, than people are supplying, pushing that price up, and that's good. We keep that price going. Remember, though, there will come a day when people start taking profits and that supply overtakes demand and of course it could push the price down you do not want to be left holding the bag i don't think we're in that territory where it's like oh man we're gonna have major bag holders i don't think we're there yet i think there's still some catalysts out there to push the the market higher i like what we're seeing if we go to the uh one week chart let's or the one week candles you can see we did break the bollinger band here came back down but we've been breaking the bollinger band three out of four weeks uh, last week, I should say we did not and just had a little con consolidation and then we ran up nicely. We have the RSI is a little high at 82.67. The weekly is getting up there. So I always get a little nervous because if you look at the weekly charts, they are usually underneath that 75. This is the first time you can see since all the way back in 2022 that we had the RSI above 75 and we got way up there we're way up there at 82.68 so it does make me a little nervous to see it that high but that's where we're at now i'm going to play the charts that's on the weekly candles you can let me know what you think down below i did want to bring up uh, shiba inu because watching shiba inu is interesting very nice looking charts lots of good things going on this is the weekly on them uh, and you can see we're a little overbought as well way over here and i want to go do the dailies you can see what we're doing there. But the daily candle, I think, really sets this thing up nicely uh, for explosion. Is this the best crypto to buy now? Uh, I gave you the Dogecoin price prediction where I see things going in terms of hitting new highs. And the Shiba Inu price prediction, you can see we bounced off of that resistance four days in a row, came down. Now we're on the 13 again. So I am still watching this. I still have the same belief. You are channel catfishing, but it is moving in the right direction. And this week we should overtake 31 point, what do we got here? 31.93. Once we overtake 31.93, you will work your way up to 37.21 for Shiba Inu. I like the setup for Shiba Inu a little bit better at this point than I do Dogecoin. Because Doge, as you can see, we are way up there on the highs. And if you go back and take a look at Shiba Inu, we are still setting up for that next run up to hit these different levels. And Doge is all the way up at the top level up here. And Shiba Inu is down here. So I think the money will flow in there. The RSI is looking great at 57 right here. That's a 57. Anytime I'm be between 50 and 60 RSI, I love the setup. I think there's a lot of money to be made. And of course it's bullish. You have this nice flag pattern. I love to trade on the when I'm day trading. This is just setting up to be, uh, it seems like an easy win. Uh, Dogecoin was an easy win. I think Shiba Inu is setting up for an easy win. Let's go ahead and look at Bonk. You know, Bonk's another one I like to follow. Take a look at Bonk, see how they're doing. Uh, is Oh, I hit the wrong thing there. Let's go ahead and do Bonk on uh, Coinbase. Let's do BLNK. There we go, right here. So we'll pull up Bonk, and there we go. I got the charts popping up. You can see the crossing right here, and I'll say it again. I think this is setting up perfect for a run with Bonk. You can see the RSI moving higher. You got the EMAs perfect. You're going to get up. The, we retested that three times. We will get back up and retest 29 shortly and hopefully push above it. And once we do, you should run back up to the 3356. And we just go from there. We go from there. I, I truly believe we will retest that 45 
before you know it. And if that is the case, that's 17 cents up, you're looking at about 60% increase from where we're at now to get up here. So if we retest those highs, we get a 60% increase. If we retest the lows, you're going down to about 20 and we're at 28. So you're looking at about a 30% drop. So I like that two to one ratio. I believe statistically speaking, we're more likely to retest the highs. That gives me 60% gain. If we don't, I like the base down here at about a 30% loss. And we know if we break that, we're in a brand new bear market. And so that's that two to one ratio I always like to find. We got that with Bonk. Bonk gives me that opportunity for that, that, that short-term swing play that gives me the big gain. And that's how I'm kind of playing it. My long-term play is my Ethereum, as you are well aware. My Ethereum, I keep watching this. We're going to see where it goes. Ethereum finally having a breakout day today. Real nice day today. Uh, but we're off that right here. We're off that resistance. And that's what I wanted to bring to your attention. Boom, boom, boom down 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 boom back up quickly and this is what i was going to show you now i'm going to get rid of this you guys saw that chart and we'll come up here and here's what i wanted to show you so as you can see and i'll go right here it's getting got a couple places right this is the one i wanted to watch so once you come here i wanted to show you this now we come back to 2021 2022 we had that resistance, down it came. We had a top, down it came, back up. So you had this head and shoulders right here, head and shoulders. We know that's very bearish, and it was very bearish. Uh, and then, of course, that was one of the levels. Now, we come over here and we take a look. Was that an area of issue? Yes, it was. We got up there, one day above, pushed back down, one day above, pushed back down. That same level of resistance sparked again for Ethereum. Now we come back down, break the 50, back above, test the 50, back above, playing the 13. Got this little short line of resistance right here we need to break, and then we'll run back up the 39.54. That's how I'm playing Ethereum. My Ethereum at price prediction, still, I think we hit five to 10,000 very quickly. Once you get the spot ETF okay, you're gonna run between five and 10,000 quick, quick, quick. Within 12 months, it should be just mind blowing how high we are. but. That's how I see things. Now, you let me know what you think down below. Uh, I got to tell you, I'm loving this crypto run. Dogecoin does doing what it does. Good stuff. And if you haven't done it, just sign up today for the Stock Squad and the Stock Mo Patreon. Over at my Patreon, I'll be sharing up to the moment when I do this small account challenge, the plays I do. I'll put them on the videos for free on YouTube as well. Uh, you can join down below. I'll be posting them in the comments for members who support the channel after i'm done but for those who are doing the free version you just gotta wait for my video to come out uh sometimes that'll be three four or five o'clock so that's how i'm gonna handle that one and uh, like i said today's the last day for the code bread take advantage of b-r-e-a-d get that discount lifetime access to the course in the course discord and then make sure you get your stocks today get set up for that account put 100 bucks in today so you're ready that's what i got for you today folks i appreciate you stopping by let's get out there and make some money